Welcome to webbikeworld.com. This is a compilation video describing my personal guided tour through the Nolan Helmet Factory in Brembate di Sopra, Italy, on November 5, 2010, which I did as an adjunct to the 2010 EICMA show in Milan. I'd like to offer a huge thank you and my deepest appreciation to all of the Nolan staff who spent an entire day with me at the factory answering all my questions on behalf of our webbikeworld.com visitors. For this video, I pieced together a series of short videos taken with a Nikon P7000 in 720p, along with some interleaving of still photos. I wasn't able to get good quality video in some of the areas of the factory due to lighting and other technical issues, but this will give you a good idea of Nolan's motorcycle helmet manufacturing processes. Be sure to read the full webbikeworld.com story on this tour with more photos and a more detailed description of the processes involved. We started out with the EPS liner fabrication process. EPS is an acronym for expanded polystyrene. EPS is probably the most important part of the helmet in terms of protection, and you will see a dramatic demonstration of this in part two of my Nolan Helmet factory tour, which describes the safety standard testing procedures. On the left, in the right hand, is the unexpanded polystyrene as it comes to the factory in very large containers. On the right in his left hand is the polystyrene after it has been expanded. These are beads of EPS that are then molded together to create the EPS liner used in a motorcycle helmet. Each helmet liner mold is designed using CAD software and then machined on a CNC multiple axis milling machine. This is an intricate design as you can see and one mold and its associated equipment must be made for each EPS liner size or type. Several different densities of EPS can be used and molded together to create the most protective helmet liner that will also meet the applicable safety standards. This sample liner illustrates three different EPS densities using the different colors and combined into a single EPS liner assembly in the molding machines shown here. Next is the molding process for the polycarbonate helmet shells. Nolan uses the very high quality General Electric Lexan EXL for a variety of reasons they have a great deal of experience using this material, and in fact, Nolan has been using Lexan since the Nolan Helmet Manufacturing Company was started in 1972. The Lexan comes in a huge box filled with small beads of the material, which looks similar to the EPS shown earlier. The Lexan beads are melted and fed into the molding machine to form the polycarbonate helmet shells, clear face shields, and other helmet parts. It takes about 60 seconds to form the shell from the melted Lexan beads and the operator removes the shell from the mold and then removes the flashing and mold sprue from the shell. Each helmet shell size must have its own mold shape. The mold consists of the helmet shape to form the inside of the shell and an external surrounding multi-piece mold that forms the outside of the shell. This is a very complex part that is designed and manufactured with CAD CAM. Each mold is an assembly weighing up to four tons, and it is very expensive to manufacture. Each time a new helmet and new shell size is developed, an entire new mold must be constructed, so you can imagine the time, effort, and expense involved. The raw polycarbonate shells are then sanded to provide a good base for the decals and painting. Nolan uses a lot of high-tech equipment throughout the plant, including robotic sanding and painting machines. This robot is programmed to sand each shell, as you can see, and it's inside of a closed booth which controls noise and dust and provides a safety factor for nearby workers. After sanding, the helmets are staged for either painting or the application of decals in the decal shop. The decals are also designed on computers and each decal set is completely applied by hand by these skilled workers who must remove any air bubbles and make sure the decals are properly applied and aligned. It takes some time to install an entire decal set on the helmet shell and each decal and design is different.
Next, the helmets go to clear coat, which provides the final protective coating. Nolan uses environmentally friendly materials, processes, and technology wherever possible throughout the plant. For example, the clear coat formulas are all water-based. These are the solid color painted helmets getting the clear coat applied. Next are the painted helmets and the helmets with decals. They go through a separate clear coat paint booth. I noticed very little odor or dust anywhere in the Nolan factory, and in fact, workers do not need special gloves or masks for any of their work due to the attention to environmental factors by Nolan. Of course, Nolan has its own testing labs for the various worldwide safety standard homologation and testing. They also have internal quality control and testing procedures that are unrelated to homologation. For example, this machine runs a torture test for a chin strap buckle, opening and closing them tens of thousands of times. This machine is testing the internal sun visor rotating mechanism, while the next machine is testing a flip-up helmet, simulating the type of stretching a rider would do when putting the helmet on and taking it off. We also test the stretch of all the parts. Of, uh, of the elements. This is more, more or less the movement you make oh, yeah. uh, when you wear a modular element. Right. So to be sure not to make... Here's problems. the final assembly floor with the very popular Nolan N103 flip-up shown here going through final assembly and inspection and the final protective decals and manuals are installed on the visor and face shield and the helmet goes into the box ready for shipment. Looking around the final assembly floor, you can see also the posters of Casey Stoner and Jorge Lorenzo, who both wear Nolan helmets, along with Carlos Checa and many other racers. Nolan is very much involved in racing as a way to improve technology and their products. So that's your basic tour through the Nolan Helmet Manufacturing Facility. Be sure to read the full article on this factory visit, along with many other photos on webbikeworld.com. Also be sure to check out the separate webbikeworld.com article and videos comparing DOT and ECE helmet safety standard testing at Nolan Helmets. I'm sure we'll get a lot of discussion on that one. Thanks for watching.